Hi, my name is Alistair Lee. In this short video, we're going to take a look at some of the new features around campaign tracking and campaign IDs in Adobe Connect 9.1. Now, Adobe Connect in the events module has always supported campaign tracking. This allows customers to use unique URLs with their different marketing campaigns so that they can track who's come from which marketing promotion, which promotion is most effective. So for example, uh, the URL you'd use on Twitter would be different than the URL you'd use on the web banner that you've purchased. And while this has always been possible, it's not been intuitive. You'd have to, to read through the help documentation and really understand how it works. With Adobe Connect 9.1, Adobe's really brought this to the forefront. This is now all available right in the user interface. Let me show you what I mean. I'm on my homepage here on my Adobe Connect server, and I'm going to go to the Event Management tab and then to Event Administration. And this is something that's done by event administrators at an account level. I can now click on a new folder here called Campaign IDs and create, delete, or edit any campaign IDs for this particular account. Once I create these IDs, they'll be available for anybody creating an event to select. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to create a brand new campaign ID. This is going to be one we use for the Geometrics Twitter account, so I'll call it GXTW01. We'll add an alias so that when we're reading this report, we'll be able to make sense of it. And of course, we could add some comments if we want. I'm just going to hit Save here. And we've now got this new Geometrics Twitter account as a campaign ID and alias that we can start using in an event. I'm actually in the process of creating a new event here. You can see I'm at the stage where I'm setting the email options. As I move to the next stage, you'll notice there is a new part of the wizard that lets you specify campaign IDs. So as I'm creating my event, I'm able to select which IDs I'd like to use. I'm going to click Finish, click on that Campaign IDs tab, and you'll see I can simply select any of the campaign IDs I'd like to use, including this new Twitter one that I just created. I'll select the email list that I'm using and perhaps a Facebook campaign ID so that I can promote this through a couple of different social media channels. Once I've done that, I can click on this new Get URLs button. Adobe Connect automatically generates all of the different URLs for each of the different campaign IDs I've specified for both the login page, the event main page, registration page, and speaker page. So now we're making the ability to track all of the different campaigns you're using to promote your marketing webinars much more intuitive and easier to use. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video.